Fuck it, shall we make an Omegle super villain army this time? I kicked off each conversation with, if you were a super villain, what power would you have? What would your name and general vibe be? I'd have invisible powers. Okay, what would you do if you were invisible? How would you terrorise the fair citizens of whatever fictional city you're in? Uh, maybe get free stuff or spy on people to see if they're talking about me? That's not that diabolical. Like, I don't think you'd be top of Batman's list to stop. How old are you? That question is irrelevant. What would your supervillain name be? I don't know, Killer Frost? Yeah, that sounds like you're taking me down a sort of wintry route. Or Vibe? What's gonna be your calling card? Pride. Okay, what? I don't know, just think. So you don't know, but you want me to think. No, I'm just thinking. Would you have any gadgets? A car that could go invisible? The Transparent Van or whatever? A sword. And the car would be a Tesla, because it's quite. Invisible with an invisible sword? Now we're fucking talking, Vibe. I still think we could be more heinous than stealing sweets and listening to see if people say you're cool. Um, stealing jewellery? So you're an invisible thief. Vibe, I think you just send yourself a place on my team. Not sure how people are going to draw you, but there we go. Vibe can also touch things, and I'll show what happened or where they are of that other person. Instant headache reading that. You mean if Vibe touched, say, my discarded slippers, they'd instantly be able to see where I was and what I was doing in that moment? Yes. That can be turned on and off though, right? Otherwise you'd pick up a sandwich and instantly be plagued with what the wheat farmer looks like, the face of the man who slaughtered the pigs for the bacon, the lukewarm sex life of the guy who works in the prepackaged sandwich factory. It only happens if you want it to happen. Okay, that's good. You got Snapchat? I've not got Snapchat. TikTok? I'm actually 31 years old, so things like TikTok are new and bewildering to me. You got MySpace? No. And you old. Thanks, I'm aware of that. Lol. No offence. Well, guess what? I'm gonna be talking about you to loads of people, and as you can't go invisible, you won't be able to eavesdrop. So enjoy that. Okay. That's a good strong start to any crew of evildoers. An invisible thief with an invisible sword? Very happy with that, let's move on. My power will be to kill the hero, because no supervillain has succeeded in killing heroes, and my name shall be Loki. Okay, we got a couple issues there. Firstly, ideally it'd be an original name. What? And also, it's quite an abstract answer. How are you killing the heroes? Killing maybe snapping finger like Thanos. So, here's my question. What's the point in asking these? I've already put together a six strong crew of superheroes using answers from Omegle. Now I need a six strong crew of villains to pitch them against. For anyone new to the channel, here's a very speedy recap. I went on Omegle a few months ago asking about superpowers and put together a gang of six heroes. Creation who could conjure up food. Aerie who used 100% of their brain. Beast Boy who could turn into any animal they wanted, Snowdry, who was like a wintry themed teleporter, Rock Lee, who was big and strong, and Brainfucker, who was like a young spunky Professor X. As you can see, they unexpectedly earned their own fan base, creating them some superb fan art, a whole theme tune, and even unbelievably, a cartoon. So I thought it was about time they got some villains to play with. That's cool. First, I'd like an original name for your villain. Let me think. Maybe Mario Gotza. Is that? And it's Gotza! It's Mario Gotza! Is that the name of a German footballer? Yup. So you're Mario Gotza who can kill people by snapping his fingers. Is your villain dressed as a German footballer too? Nope. He has a long black gown and a blank pant with black converse. Also long hair, maybe brown? Kind of like Loki. Yeah, kind of. Thought it might be. Blue eyes, must. And when Mario Gotza clicks his fingers, how do people die? Fell unconscious and like choke on their own tongue? And he gets the energy of those. Eleven. What eleven? That's typing error, sorry. Do you have a backstory for Mario Gotza? How has he become this caped German finger snapper? Sure. Born as a villain? Sorry, born to be a villain. Well, I'll put Mario on my team for now, but there's every chance he'll be subbed off. Okay, fine. We have a lot of seats going spare at the moment, and that's the only reason why a German soccer player that clicks his fingers and people fall unconscious is going anywhere near my supervillain team. Do not get used to his presence. <laughs> to attract every girl. And your supervillain name is... Max. Max, how are you going to tear the justice system asunder just by being super cute? Huh? <laughs> to control nature, maybe? Interesting. Nature's quite broad. Maybe narrow it down. You controlling weather, animals, rocks? Weather, plants, ground, water, everything that's natural. You'd have dominance over all space and time, therefore. A geeky team that can shoot webs would have no chance. Ha ha ha, true. I really don't want to stifle your creativity, but think you might have to reel it in and pick one bit of nature for the sake of a fair fight. Weather, excellent. What's your supervillain name? Dust Devil, how about that? Well, I said it aloud and then did a little subconscious nod of my head, so I think I like it. Got a costume, a backstory. Well, Dust Devil is a lone wolf. Can't work with a lot of people. No goons to do their bidding? Nope. 
Unorthodox, but okay. He does whatever he wants to on his own, because of an incident that happened with him quite a while ago. Could you tell me about that incident? Being blonde like that, he had his share of problems which led him to have an evil mindset about the societies. Society. Born. Yeah, I think so. It's what I do. Hey, but why are you asking me this? Please see my above comment. It is what I do. So was his dad a weatherman, and his mum, I don't know, an umbrella seller? He lives like a normal man would live, eats normal food, but when it comes to anger, he is more fierce than an animal. And trust me, he is short-tempered. I trust you. So let's say the new mayor is about to be inaugurated. How would Dust Devil cause chaos at the ceremony? He won't cause chaos at the ceremony. Well, disrupting mayoral inaugurations is like textbook supervillain behaviour. They hate mayoral inaugurations. I know, but he's not like them, at least not now. He'll personally visit the mayor. Go on. Maybe some other thing will happen to him that will make him like that. Right now, he is out to take revenge. But in the process, he will turn into something that even he didn't think of. Something that will haunt everyone and give them freaking nightmares. How will he do that? The question is not how will he do that. The question is who will do that to him and what? What? You've lost me. Backtrack. He personally meets the mayor. Dusk Devil is strong, too powerful, but when it comes to love, he is a cripple. Dusk Devil now? Dust. For the record, when it comes to love, I'm a cripple. I see what you're doing there, but that's not a romantic line. I'd love for an example in which Dust Devil harnesses the power of the weather for diabolical needs. At the moment, he's just an angry man who's met the mayor. Dude, who are you? I'm just a normal guy. Doesn't look like it. This is going to sound strange, but just so you know, this Dust Devil character is likely to be sketched by quite a few people, maybe even turned into a short cartoon. So, one example, please, of how Dust Devil would use his powers for bad. I need a little time, please. Take as long as you need. I'm going to pour myself another glass of wine and light a ciggy. Wait! And getting out of some impossible situation is a hero kind of thing? Yes, you need to create the impossible situation of the hero to get out of. What powers does the hero have? Good question. Uh, they can conjure any type of food. Let's call them creation. How will it help him? I mean, if I just struck him with lightning, what will he do? Make an insulating shelter out of pies? That creation guy, he makes food. That means he loves food too. So, I'm going to steal the food from the whole town and I'm going to burn it. And one or two people I hate along with it. So. After seeing that, creation will rush to save the people and the food. But there's the catch. The food has sleeping portion in it, and as it burns, the smoke will have the sleeping effect, and the one closest to it will pull creation. He'll sleep, and I'll end his life, and I can tell everyone any story I want to, because they all are asleep. I can feel my beautiful brain crumbling. Are you- can you still control the weather? Or are you the sleeping agent guy now? In which case, Dusk Devil would be the better name. Yeah, I can, but why to do go the harder way? Jesus Christ. And if I have powers, that means creation knows about it and would have never thought of this trick. So it's a double bluff. You can control the weather, everyone knows that, but you choose to instigate evil plans not with weather control, but other means, in this case sleeping potions. Yep. That's... that's pretty clever. Like if the Riddler just stopped leaving riddles and bought a gun instead. Everyone would be surprised. Yeah. Was this weird? Yeah, this was weird. This was a weird one. Like good weird or bad weird? By a Megal standards, good weird. Next time I look outside and the weather is unspectacular and the mayor is fine, but I've just had lunch and feel tired, oh no, Dust Devil has struck again. Hmm. Name him Dusk Devil. He's Dust Devil now? Yeah, he is Dust Devil. He is Dust Devil. Don't name him as Dust Devil. He is sly asshole who can make smoke screens and can make it poisonous or as a sleeping gas or however he wants it to be. He can't control the weather. You're, you're scrapping all that. He's Dust Devil that does sleeping gases now. I mean, bloody hell. That whole conversation had me sweating with confusion, but I think we need to honour this Mad Omegla's final request. It's Dusk Devil. They can't control the weather. They are a supervillain based around the idea of releasing gases, particularly tranquilizing ones. Now let's never talk of that conversation again. <laughs> First, my power will be about control of the feeling. Name will be like my name, Miley. I will control all humans' thought. Vibe, maybe a Wonder Woman? This is intriguing. You get for exercise or not? Uh, sorry, what do you mean? I mean someone gets for survey. Yeah, I, I suppose it's a kind of survey. So how would Miley use these powers to cause atrocities? No, I have powers to kill bad person. That is disastrous news. I need this to be a villain, a la the Joker or Putin. By being a superhero, you're skewing my survey. For this, Miley, I need you to be bad. Haha, <laughs> if you're handsome, I will follow you. Well, that's really not for me to say. But I have been compared to a tired Alec Baldwin in my time by a few viewers. Oh. I'd like Batman. That's more of a superhero, but you'd be a villain with it. Yeah. Nasty Batman. What would your villain name be? Zay. Why Zay? It's my name, initials lol. Not very anonymous, mate. Like the real Batman called himself Woose Brain. Eh, what do you wanna do? Tragically, they left at that point, but I do still really enjoy the idea of a villain that looks like a known hero. You'd think, oh thank god, Batman is here to save us, and only when they're too close do you realise, wait, that's not Batman, oh, oh fuck, that's Zay! So Zay is getting a place. Well done, Zay, lovely to have you with us. Pull up a seat next to Dusk Devil. <laughs> Making every girl my GF. 
Every single one. Yes! That's three billion girlfriends. You have the time, money and stamina to deal with that? That's the key for a car to Mac car. Which is Hindi for? Hey, don't worry about it. I won't worry about it. How are you going to commit crimes with this power? That's what I thought. I will be Death King. Loving the name. My powers will be mind reading. Bex, I believe my prediction can kill anyone. You've lost me instantly. Let's say you wanted to kill a famous songstress, the songbird of the fictional town you're causing havoc in. How do you do it? Well, reading moves is totally dangerous. Think. Once you know what they think after your move, you can change it. Every mind has a pattern to do things, and that pattern get, person will fall definitely. Oh, I see. So if you wanted to kill me, you could read my mind. Let's say you read that I was thinking about having a salad later. You could fill that salad with mercury and nails ahead of time. Boom, I'm dead. Lol, not exactly. Oh, I think you're taking wrong it. Tell me what, if you know someone very precise, you know their next move or way of thinking. Killing is not meant by physically, it is destroying by inside. Well, these are assumptions. Maybe I'm thinking too much. No, no, you're thinking just the right amount, perhaps not even enough. How would Death King dress? Dress code will be shrug black with long black shoes. Scary long shoes. No, professional shoes. Right. Silent and calm personality will be better. Mind gamers sound like this. This is very, very minor, but why does Death King need to worry about the state of their shoes? Actually, don't worry about that. I can already tell I'm not going to understand the answer. Not state, it is like dress code. There we go. What's Death King's motive? I want to kill those or want to make a situation for people who have a lot to share for pause but not doing it. So it's all about the society out there. Yep, I know it. I've seen it from very close side. Want to raise funds for a foundation and from that money gonna rip asses of those. So you personally desire to be Death King. You'd be Death King if you could. We'll see about it. If I have options, then I will do it. Maybe next light Yagami. So if I or anyone out there sees on the news Death King has spiked a rich man's salad, it's all fingers pointing at you. Kind of. You heard it here first, folks. Happy to say I'm going to put Death King on my squad, as meddling with people's minds is more interesting than clicking your fingers in between playing midfield for a German football team. I agree. Yeah, get out of here, Mario. Guys, this is Death King, and uh, they'll be joining us. <laughs> Superpower would be like Chidori shit, like lightning. Sounds good. I don't have anyone on my supervillain crew who can do lightning yet. I did, but they changed to sleeping gas at the last minute. You know what people can be like. So, what would your supervillain name be? John. John. Yes, intimidating is ends it. It doesn't strike fear into my heart, to be honest. I would be terrified. So how would you use your powers to commit crimes? Like just overcharge people's phones and make them go boom. John, the overcharger of phones. No phones for anyone. No one would dare walk the streets. I do quite like this idea. And on that totally undeserved praise, they left. Even so, John is joining the roster. I mean, you can never have a superhero so fantastically banal as that, but villains are different. Consider there are Batman villains like the Penny Plunder and the Condiment King. So we can have a John. And hey, we only need one last villain now. Okay, supervillain name is Shakal. And what's your supervillain like? What do they do that's so villainous? They are horny. Okay. M? F? How do they bring twisted havoc to a fictional dystopia? What do they do to torment the masses and require vigilante intervention? My power? To fuck hard to you. Nerd. Ah! Super strength. Name would be Big D and I would rob banks. Big D. Yes, it's the name my friend gave me, Lil. Probably gonna regret asking this, but what does the D stand for? My name is David and I'm big. Ah, it's not for dick, Lil. Super strength. I can use that. Let's talk. So you'd smash vaults apart, etc. Basically. Are you strong enough to, like, lift a car? Sling a train over one shoulder? Like as strong as Hulge, Hulk. Do you have a backstory? Grotesquely strong since birth or a result of a freak accident? I don't have time to think about all that. Hey, give Rock Lee someone to fight. I think we might all be here. The new plagues upon the city. Vibe. Death King. Dusk Devil. Zay. John. And Big D. Will the Omeglas be able to defeat such a twisted sixum? Only time will tell. Well, there we go. Our Omegle superheroes finally have some actual crime to fight. Now, absolutely no pressure here and no deadline whatsoever, but I know that some of you did enjoy drawing the heroes. If you want to draw the villains, you can, and I would love that, but it's completely up to you. Normal way of getting to me, either tweet them at me or you can email them to me. Receiving anything of any quality always makes me smile, so if you do have a spare few minutes and the inclination to do so, I would love it if you could draw them for me or make a theme song or a short cartoon. Cheers!